Um, I will open up this meeting uh, for the planning board for the town of Maynard. The date is August 8th, 2023, and the time is 7.03 p.m. Uh, this meeting is being held in a hybrid format meeting. People can uh, participate either through the Zoom link or here at Town Hall. Uh, at this time, Bill, I don't see anyone online. Do you have that correct? I don't see anybody. Okay. Okay. Um, if people join online, I will read the rest of the stipulations, but for now there's no one online. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll open up the continuation of the public hearing for 115 Main Street. This is a special permit modification um, by the applicant in McDonald Development. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. Um, Bill, do you want to give a primer on this and then we'll turn it over to the, to the team for any updates? Yes, uh, we received um, new landscape plans, new revised site plans, which you, you all have. Um, they've gone, uh, I think the commitment is to one access into the municipal lot. Uh, we also received, uh, there's uh, a list of waivers that we requested. Um, um, and I think, um, Mike, you're going to go ahead and you want to give the presentation right on the updates. Um, we haven't had, uh, DPW has not weighed in. Um, I think that anything that they have uh, would be uh, involved involving the municipal lot. So we just, you know, the board can proceed however they want. I think that would be something we could potentially condition. Um, elevations, so uh, when we find the final change, we'll just get any updates to that, right? And I think uh, with that... Um, oops, sorry, I, did. I know we've been here a couple times, but for the record, could you just introduce yourself again? Okay, this is Donald McDonald Development. Daphne McDonald McDonald Development. Donald Development. Lost his best. Michael Scott from the Design Collaborative. Uh, you want to update the bunch, Mike? Or? Sure. Um, I did bring copies digitally of all the stuff that was provided, but. Um, <laughs> So we ran through, I think, five or six things that were additions to the plans, and I highlighted those. So they've been added, hopefully, to everyone's satisfaction. Um, and I'm just going to go tonight in the order that um, I had written them down. These may not have been how they flowed through the last meeting, but um, at the rear door, there was a conversation about adding a ramp from the two rear doors into the parking area. So we did that, understanding it's not an ADA ramp. Um, the driveway, the safety will open up the, the, up the third or fourth one, right? Uh, right. Yeah. Okay, let me share a screen with our home audience here. We have somebody now. And we've been where there was the site driveway that entered um, from the municipal lot and turned right to get into the surface parking that we were discussing about making it 19 to 20 feet. We made it 20 feet. Um, we basically went an additional two feet into the town parking area. Oh, sorry, keep. Uh, yeah, you want to do it? You want me to do it? No, one more. I think it's a short. Um, yeah, I think it might be easier if you just point okay. out sure. while, while you're going down here, let's yeah. be able to point out what okay. you're talking about. There you go. I can see you with us. If you want to sit here, probably it's a good spot as any. Right. All right. So I'm going to go to um, actually this sheet. Um, so the first thing I was mentioning was the addition of a ramp. We created, there was some discussion about there being a step from the um, pavers onto the pavement. We had a curb shown there. We've eliminated the curb stone. Uh, and so folks walking out of either of the two doors that are at the back or north side of the building from either the commercial space or the residential space at the first floor um, would be able to walk directly into the parking lot. So if they're wheeling something or pushing something, they don't have to go over a curb. Again, this is not ADA compliant. The ADA route would be um, like that. So onto the promenade, past this little landscape area, into the doors. And of course, interior wise, 
in the garage floor, which is now a level below the access would be to the elevator right right across this part of the parking lot. Uh, parking garage. Um, second thing we discussed was the width of the driveways. This was 24 feet. We had this at 18 feet. We were asked to take a look at getting it to 19 or 20 feet. So what we did was we pushed this wall out two feet. We didn't want to bring this in um, because there is a grade dropping here. And the farther we pull this over, the more of a right turn. This actually makes the right turn a little simpler um, around that corner. So that's 20 feet. And there was a question about the height of this wall. This, this wall is actually it's detailed on the next sheet, but it's only about a foot tall at this end and about three and a half feet at this end, because we've changed the grade so that the grade will slope down um, along the side of the building, which is depicted here. Um, so we would have the grade falling away this way. There was a question about could someone sitting here see someone coming out of the garage? And the answer is yes, because you would look right over the top of the wall. Um, question about the LA plan, which has been updated. I'll get to that in a second because it's not in this set of drawings. Um, it is, but it's been updated again. There was a question about the signage plan. So we originally had a handful of signs noted for the ADA space stop sign here. We added a stop sign at this location and we added, um, you can't see it because of this thing, but uh, we added a no through traffic, no through traffic sign at this location. So folks entering this will understand that they can't get out. Um, we're happy to change that to something else if that's not an appropriate sign, but these are all MUTCD call outs for the various um, types of uh, signage. The, the crosswalk, as I mentioned before, the crosswalk signs are out in the public way. Those have been on since the beginning. And of course you have the ADA van space located here. So we're showing the ADA with the van accessible. That was on the previous set. Can you help me? Where's the uh, no left? Um, uh, I believe that's a town. I, I believe that was a town sign. So oh, I think it's I think it's one of these, but I got to check if that's true or not. So let me see if I can zoom in without losing anything. Yeah, sixteen seven PL. Is that the sixteen seven? Uh, yeah, that's that one that's over by the CBS entrance. No, that's an R32. So, so where did I where did we have that? Uh, oh. uh, boy. Yeah, no, it's this. So we have an R15. That's the those are the no. Oh yeah. That's a W. Uh, I don't remember where we had that. Oh, you know what? That was probably on the um the original plan set that had the garage. Um when you were leaving the garage, they didn't want you circulating this way. So that probably needs to come off. No, that's probably that's probably a leftover from the first round of drawings. Um, so we've added, uh, but we added the, um, the no through, which was the one that we talked about last time. I'll make a note to get rid of that sign. And then there was a list of waivers, which is a separate thing as well. So I'll see if there's anything else on the plans that were requested. Um, the other major changes obviously are that these have been um, those exhibits that we were looking at the large scale that we could compare. This is the format that the original plans that we provided the Conservation Commission with um, were in. So this was the set of drawings that went to the Conservation Commission and then the DPW for approval previously with that earlier design. So this is I'm not, I'm forgetting this maybe the first time you, well, this would be the second time you saw this format because we did the first two driveway scenario this way. So we've added back the drainage and utilities. So the grading is, the, the detailed grading is on this sheet. Um, this has the utilities. This was not, these were not depicted previously um, on what you saw, but everything from this building wall to around here and then out to the river or out to the promenade is as it was before. The changes are that Previously, there was a grate only at the entrance to the building um, because everything went down to the building and we were up high. Uh, when we lowered the grade, we had a grate here and we had the pumping out of this grate uh, to this water quality unit. We've added a grate at this location, which is above or at elevation 160. Again, we don't want to bring 
gravity piping network into that bowl below the flood elevation. So this is set at 160. Um, and it, it actually can gravity into this structure, um, even though the driveways are going down. Uh, and then we've also added a grate in this location behind the dumpster. We originally had the gas meters here. There was a conversation about that being my mistake. Those are now here. Um, and so these two grates would then be pumped to this structure, which is a water quality structure. It's noted here. Uh, and then that would enter the infiltration system. This, as I mentioned, this has not changed. This was the layout you see from the building wall to the left to the river was approved by DPW in terms of the shutoff, backflow prevention devices, the elevations of the outlet, the location of the drain manhole, which ties into the existing 30 inch pipe that drains the, park, the municipal parking lot. None of that has changed. Um, it's just this portion of the site where we now have more water from this part of the site has to be collected and pumped rather than just a small piece of it. Um, pre and post hydrology plans, they, these obviously changed because originally we had a driveway that ran in here, which was contributing. So there's a little less water contributing to the infiltration, a little less area contributing to the infiltration system, but not significantly. Um, this, is, this is actually more or less similar to the original design. The difference is last time we had a driveway here, which was also making its way. So if you were to go through the history of the stormwater report, you would see Essentially, this current one is essentially what we had the first time, um, albeit with slightly more overall impervious, and it's pretty much the equivalent to this parking space that we retain. So in the end, there's more green space on the property than originally was there before they demolished the property. The only real green space was pretty much the back of this building, which actually crossed the property line. Um, and then a little bit along the side of the CDS parking lot, so you'd be gaining a little bit of green space on the side of the CBS parking lot. You'd be gaining a little green space around this utility pole, and you'd be gaining green space along the uh, the building here and at the end of the parking lot here. Um, and of course, this is presently parking. These this is essentially parking. So really, the loss of green space in the town's lot is here, uh, which again is only slightly more pavement than if we if we took this space out and essentially be where we were originally. Um, and that's documented in the stormwater report. And then this this was a detail of the, the crosswalk. This there was no change um, to the driveway here, other than we moved the grades around. Moved we added the guardrail. I did forget that we did add the guardrail at the head end of the spaces um, on the town property. I had mentioned that previously. Uh, that was an oversight, and that's shown on all the sheets, but. It's noted specifically on this sheet um, for the guardrail. So I think those are all the plan changes. Um, there's also a list of uh, the landscape plan. Now, I don't know if I'm sharing this screen or am I sharing the other screen? You know, I'm sharing this entire screen as the new or was I sharing the that previous PDF? As you are sharing this. Right. So that's how I usually do it, which means this would be. Yeah. Would, you might want to just unshare that. and reshare. Just double check. Okay. Just reshare. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, wait. Do screen. Yeah. Okay. It's there. Um, yeah. And showing it now. So. Um, this is the new LA plan. So again, this was revised for the wall configuration here, the width of the driveway, and then the shrubs and plantings along the town um, embankment, if you will. And we had had, as I mentioned previously, we reconfigured the layout of the, um, the trees along the promenade. And there was one in this location, which was in the path of the ADA route, which had been relocated. I don't believe there were any changes along the left side along the river, there was no need for that. Um, and the other details, these remain from, from the prior plan. This is dated 8-1. I got this a day or two after I sent in the plans to um, you folks. So that's not part of our set, but it can be added. And it is the current plan for landscaping. And then the last thing, that we sent was the um, waivers. Well, I did send the stormwater report. If anyone wants to see it, it's not very exciting. Um, 
Oops, got the wrong one. Let's try to find the waivers. And then the list of waivers. Oh, sign plan modification. I want to be interested. Thank you. Um, So this was in the same format that you received previously. It describes what's going on. And then the first six were actually the six of the first seven in the previous application, um, all of which I believe were approved. It talks about the size, the amount of land per unit. That didn't change. The number of parking spaces, and the ratio didn't change. Uh, the fact that there's a parking space within 10 feet of the rear lot line, there used to be four or five, there's only one now. Uh, the drawings are at scales that are not pre-authorized or required. We actually have a five scale and a 10 scale to show greater detail in two locations. Um, that was also previously approved. The existing conditions plan prepared by Foresight is stamped by a Massachusetts PE that was previously approved. They just updated the, um, the plan for us with a little more information. Um, the required intersection curb radius um, is 25 with an internal curb radii of 10 or, and that was previously approved and we still have that condition um, in one case. Um, two, these two are new. Uh, we eliminated one, which was the angle parking, not meeting the right requ size requirements. Um, but these are new. One is that the parking lot is, this is the surface parking lot is a little steeper than 5%. And that was a function of needing to ramp up to get up above the elevation, above the flood elevation, and then get down to the current elevations or lower so as not to increase the flood storage. So it's a little steeper than 6%, not in, not everywhere, but there are spots that are over 5%. Um, so we included that. And then the minimum interior driveway width of 20 feet, we actually achieved 20 feet, but then it next down as you're going down into the garage a little less than 20 feet because of the grading. So um, that driveway, the site internally, is over 20. It's just when you get down towards the garage that it's under 20. So those are the two new waivers. And that covers everything that I have in my notes. And I guess the other thing is we obviously we lowered the building a little bit for um, Mr. McDonald's request. That's reflected on the grading and all the utility layout inside the building, which will be coordinated with the plumbing engineer. So sorry, that last item, is that something we talked about last time or is that a new way? It's uh, we were looking to achieve the lowest floor elevation we could get to create that maximum headspace. So we were able to get a few, uh, you know, another few more inches to create more headspace. That still doesn't attain the required height from band, but it does equate. So, so if folks are bringing a pickup with a cap on it, they won't okay. scrape the cap we're talking, off. We're talking inches from what was presented. It's yeah, it's a little bit lower. Okay, and it was already sloping down inside the building. We just lowered it at the entrance. I don't think we need to talk about inches. So I think that covers everything that I had. Um, so, yeah. um, Bill, would you like to add anything to this? Mm -hmm. That seemed like it was comprehensive. Yeah. Um, so I'll turn it over to the board for questions. Um, I think I think we we can talk. We don't need to categorize it. We can talk about anything. I have questions. Three questions on my request for the waivers. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. For the uh, relief number seven, could you show the areas that are greater than five percent? I assume we're talking about the drive area. Uh, no, I'm talking about actually the parking lot, the parking spaces. It was my understanding it was the, referring to the parking spaces. Um, but I can pull that up. Okay. Okay, it. So it would be, it would be in this part of the parking lot. You mind zooming in? There? Yeah. Yeah. So I was wondering what the uh, twenty foot circles were that were shown clearly on the plan set by um, the former engineer. Are we still sharing? Uh, I will. We. I don't believe we are. Should be. I know I stopped the oh.
So we're talking about this area right in here. And you can see the existing grade is this gray line and the bold line is the, the proposed. The existing grade is this gray line and the bold is the proposed. So we're trying to hold the flood elevations. Um, and then down here, this is the bold line and this is the existing. So in order to meet the flood volumes, we're trying to hold that existing grade. We're flatter over here. Obviously the ADA spaces, that meant we had to lift things up a little bit. So we had to pull the grade back a little bit. Um, so this is the flattest part of the parking lot. So when this, you park in those spaces, how tilted are you? The grade, the grade will be sloping six plus or minus percent, but in this direction here. And then it's a little flatter in this direction. This would be the steepest part of the parking lot. These, there's what, five or six spaces through here. These five or six spaces are going to be tilting towards this catch basin, if you will, like it was previously, because we are, again, trying to make sure we don't you know, alter the grade. You can see we pulled it back here a little bit. So this part of the space gets a little flatter. Um, it's just the tail. It's these few spaces through here that would be over the 5%. And then you're flatter over here. And, and how does that amount of slope compare to the, the row of spaces in the public parking lot and up near? So those, those spaces are almost too flat. They're like a percent. No, no, farther up. Oh, oh, they're 40 feet oh. Oh. off the map. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. So well, just a comparison, if you don't understand. I mean, off the top of my head. Or is it less? Is it, you know, well, we didn't measure those, but you're talking about all the way up by your place. Yeah. I'm trying to think of some of the other parking lots that you have. They're certainly flatter than some of the parking lots that I've been to in Jimmy's site. Um, sites, not the one where you are at 10, but. Um, well, let's just simplify it. We'll be. More slope or less? Slope. I will. I didn't measure those, but I'm going to say that's probably in that range. As say. you get up towards um, the end of this parking lot on the yeah. way out, yeah, it will be less than this parking at 42 summer. The, was the public, public parking against 42. The, no, no, 42. the parking we have at inside the lot. Yeah, yeah that was in the lot is more great yeah. than this one. Yeah, that's true. The the public side, I didn't measure it. I have driven it once or twice, but I oh. can't. Let's grade then the your parking lot at right. 42. Oh, yeah. so that's not, oh, yeah. right. I kind of have no concept of. So no. over and. Uh, there's no, it's it's, it's okay. not good when you open the door and it swings yeah. around, but if it's a little bit. It, it's, and this isn't so that you're not dead sideways, you know. Is this, this is sloping it. If a car parks, it's. Nose it down. Yeah, the nose is if they're pulling in, the nose would be down, and that's, that's really where the sixth grade or six percent slope is. Yeah, it's slope right. off. So, okay. so that's correct. If I do the math, right, that would be a over an 18 foot span, say a truck, that would be a one foot drop, six percent slope. It would drop about a foot from the front. Yeah, right. That's 20 feet, right? One in 20, right. which is your yeah. requirements at one in 20. Um, we're at about like one in seven, one in eight, and that's why we have those nice. Things in between the promenade so, and the parking lot to keep the cars that aren't in park from rolling into the right. So you have a you have a guardrail yes, perfect. along there. Yes. That's actually on this, I believe, on this set, or maybe it's on the LA set. And the other question about the yeah. parking release is the last yeah. item. Um, well, actually, that's not the question. Of, do you need relief for the distance behind, like the? The surface lot handicap. These spaces. So we have 24 feet to here. We modeled because this isn't a parking space. Let me go back to this sheet. Because this is not a parking space, even though we're under 24 here, we did run a van that a van can pull into the space yeah, and I'm get not back. Asking about the monorail. Uh, the 24. The for the 20. So the minimum width is 20 feet. I don't did not to mention this. But I'm going to say that's not that's going to be right around 20 feet if this is 18 and a half. So I suppose that's an area where we're under 20 internally, as well as this. Are you saying that the, the state to the right of the handicap parking is considered a driveway width of 20 feet? Are you at well, I mean, from this stripe to this curve? Parking bays have a designated width, and this one tapers down. And I don't know if it meets our requirements. And if it yeah. doesn't, it, they need to have to relieve it. So it's right. so okay. So that's separate from the internal drive, is what you're at, uh, suggesting. Where we're at 18 feet, we've asked for a waiver for less than 20. If if you're talking, it needs to be 20 behind the space, 24 rather. 
Um, but I'm guessing we're under 20 here. So you'll have to. Well, we've asked for less than 20 internally. So now it's just re referencing both the entrance to the garage and. Right. And the other one didn't. I looked at the old waiver. There was no specificity as to where it was. So I just used so on some of the other um, other ones. So I just left it that way. But um, I can put a dimension on this and that would be the. Um, the width that's required. Okay, so all right, well, that's fine. If you're just clarifying that number eight references multiple locations. Yeah. We moved curb lines around to have Jimmy look at stuff so many times. I didn't keep track of where everything was every time I moved them, but um, we hadn't really changed this end of the parking lot other than for this um, driveway. But we can certainly add that dimension, which will be less than 20. By I. Other questions from the board? Um, landscaping. Just remind me, who is going to be approving the stuff in the promenade? Is that Justin? That stuff was already yeah approved, but okay. it was Justin who did that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing we changed there was we had to change some of the location of the three well. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. And then we added a note on there about the types of plants that will be planted along the riverbank. Yes, I know which one you guys, I believe it was old yeah. forts. Was it your one? Yeah. Okay, conservation, I forgot, but I think we discussed it in the lab. But I think for everyone's yeah. And, and the, the, as I understood, conservation will be looking at this in more detail, or they're, Correct. They, yep. they will yep. at their September meeting? Yeah, so far, I mean, just from my perspective, um, you know, the plants look great. Everything else is is what we've discussed, um, you know, getting the grass out of there and putting in plants uh, to really stabilize the area. Um, so, yeah, they'll, they might have, you know, some, they can talk about, like, the exact species of, at that September meeting, but location uh, of everything, that's what I'm most concerned about, and I, I have no problem. Um, with what's going on and and plus you know they have really tight spaces um so as much as you really want as many trees as possible um i think they were able to to work with around the building and not you know potentially harbor their uh their roots to go into the building so i appreciate that too any other questions <laughs> Um, Jeff, any questions? Um, so one couple questions, Tony, Mike, if you could. Um, so this area here of landscape, fine, yep. Um, if I'm standing to the left of that in the parking lot and I'm looking at it, is it going to look flat or is it going to be sloped, sloped sloping down? down? Right, this will be sloping down, not as, as steeply as the driveway, so that's why the wall comes into play here. Okay. And then this wall is to retain this slope so that you can get in and out of the parking lot because this falls. We tried to keep this area as flat as possible for the turning movement, yep. which means this got steeper and this got steeper. And, and I'm going back, not this time, I'm talking about the previous um, version. It's essentially the same as the previous version. We picked up a few inches of drop over this end and this end. And when you say down, do you mean top to bottom down or left to right down? So this will be sloping down. This will be sloping flat or this. So this will be sloping this direction. This will be sloping this direction, but not as so steep. You're, you're going to kind of mimic the grades that are adjacent to it. And it's going to sort of match. Right. We just didn't want We didn't want it. We have, we needed a place for the uh, the gas meters and we needed a place for a manhole that also was out of the pavement. So that, that, that that's correct. So the meters would be against the building here. Okay. And the man, there's a manhole probably where the shrub is. But, um, so. That being said, are you going to need any other safety apparatus in there? Um, maybe ballers on the right sort of method, but um, anything else is going to be so, needed? Um, I mean, these are, I would say no because the wall, There's a, we have a curve up to the wall here. So it'll be a six inch curb. Um, and then this is a short wall. This, and then this is gonna be flat, but there will be some, I'll call it slope paving to make up the grade from the garage floor up to this. Um, but that's shown with grading plan. So that will be somewhat steep, but it's not a wall. Um, so anything that would be hit in here would be 
hardened surface. Um, and I don't see putting bollards in there. It's just going to yeah, reduce the um, width of our, the open area. I, my thought is, is it going to be like a hole? This won't be a hole. This will not be a hole. This will be elevated above this okay. part of the driveway. Okay. Yeah. So this will be two to three feet. This will be higher by two or three feet than this. Yeah. That's <laughs> Um, you, you mentioned during the waivers that we need a, a waiver number seven for conditionals. Um, the maximum slope is about five percent. Can you remind me what the what the maximum slopes are for the dry aisles here as well? Yeah, so that's actually shown on that last exhibit that was part of. And I'm not sure if I'm sharing this, but I will. Um, So that was shown on this drawing. Catches up. I guess, were there any changes since last time we talked? Uh, the, slopes? the, yeah, as I mentioned, we picked up a little deck, so we got a, a little bit like a percent or two steeper at the top and the bottom, um, but not in the middle. And let me see. Uh, So those slopes are shown on this plan, which I don't think I'm sharing. So well, same, this is the same layout that you saw previously. We show the dumpster access here. Um, what we what we did was because we had data from the old, you'll see there's some additional spot grades through here. We went out and resurveyed that parking lot because it was so critical to try to pick up any depth we could. Um, and as it turns out, I think, and this may have been the discussion I had with D DPW some time ago, the grades that were shown in the parking lot for this portion of the lot were I think on uh, 80 and 80. They were on 29 datum, not 88 datum. So it was about a seven tenths difference, which we confirmed when we went back out there. So. We were targeting a grade of 64, but it's really all just barely 63. So that's what we picked up, barely a foot of drop. Um, so we see a few more shots. And what that, and then what we did was we re-ran these profiles. So previously the cars were shown coming downhill from the town's parking, but they're actually going to go up to the end of the parking and then go over. That's we knew intuitively we were not going downhill from, from back here because we've been out there enough. So when we resurveyed it, we verified that. Um, so what you see is there's a little lip right here, and then you start going downhill. This is the truck going to, so you see the grades are listed. So the maximum grade of any of the routes runs are shown. So that's a 16%, one in six-ish, one in seven-ish. Um, and then it gets flatter in the middle, roughly the same grade as the parking lot over here. Um, and then we show the vehicles going in and out of the garage or around the corner. Can you let some piece of can? Sorry, that's just me trying to see where. Oh, so. Um, so we have the we have the grade down. We have the relatively flat center, and then we end up into the garage. And so what you're seeing here is actually the continuation of the grade in the garage for the first. Um, so many feet to allow us to drop a little more and gain that headspace in the garage. It also takes the curse off of the steeper slope into the flatter slope. So that was necessary. So this vehicle would, which again is modeled with a very low uh, front overhang approach, angle of approach. And then for the pickup truck, so you see the grades are 16%, 15% in that range. Whereas before we were at like 13 and a half, 14%. So we, that's where we gained that little bit extra depth. Um, the next question is about signage. Did we change any signs along the main street on the public way? No, we didn't change anything in the street. Well, the signs that I saw previously approved were. Um, so I'm, what I'm seeing here is a yield to pedestrians at a crosswalk. There's one. There's one here, and then there's one on the other side of the CBS driveway. Sure. These were the these were the two signs. Yeah. And that's that's some of what's shown up here. So there's that, and then there's that. And then the striping of the crosswalk is shown on one of the plans that's out of 
not to scale, not to your standard scales, which this is was taken from the previously approved plans for the uh, reconstruction of um, a new ramp, the new curbing, the addition of a ramp and curbing, and then uh, that follows the old striping. None of that's changed. None of that changed, correct. Um, if you could just go back up to first time you paid that in. Yep. Zooming on the bottom right, there's two signs there. One of them says W L dash two, yep. which is the uh, person in yellow and the yellow diamond. So you have the eleven dash two and the yeah. sixteen. So these two. And I'm not seeing the sixteen dash seven. Are you seeing sixteen dash seven? Sixteen dash seven. That's. Does it mean sixteen dash nine e by any chance? Where are you? Anyway, I just want to make sure that we have this correct. Oh, seven PL versus. All right, so I'll have to check this sign call out because this says sixteen seven. Yeah, just I'm yeah. guessing it's referring to the ahead. Um, no, but let's just get it right on the plans now. Sixteen nine P. It's yes. All right, I will check. The nine P is the ahead. The seven yeah. is the older barrel. The eleven two. Yeah, so yeah, that's something that's not right there. Yeah, something's just not right. Yeah, you're right. That's all. Okay, so we'll confirm that. Yeah, I trust you again. Whatever it is. Because when you go on through this, where you know you've got to be standing there at the bill, and they're going to go, that's not the sign that's on the plan. Yeah. It's probably a lot. I may have copied exactly what yes. it was on the it was, it was reading the food test. <laughs> Even though, yeah. well, I'll fix it to whichever one's right or whatever is right, I'll make sure they're correct. Yeah, I'm just asking for a yeah. question. Okay. I get it. Yeah. I think that was on that question. Anything else from the board? Well, at this point, this is the time where I ask if there's any other additional information. I'm oh, sorry, I'm, I won't take public comment if there's any public comments here tonight. Um, I, I see there's Susan, you're welcome to enter a public comment or not. Um, Armin, you're welcome to enter a public comment or not. I think those are really members of the public tonight. Let me know. Um, but this is the point where I ask if there's any additional information that the applicant would like to provide uh, before we close the meeting. Bill, is there anything else we should discuss? Any other, anything else pertinent? Um, so you brought up the uh, BBW's review of the, of the um, interaction with the public space. Um, my thinking is that in the past, they've provided review as a condition. And I think that's, we can talk about that. Um, the other alternative is to what? Continue the hearing until they review? Yeah. I. Um... I, I don't think that would be necessary because in this case, um, the applicants, you, have you scheduled for the select board yet for the um, the access agreement? No. Okay, so we could just condition it on that. It'd be, it's, you know, the, what are the changes relative to the public entry? Have we, have we changed the number of parking spots we're looking to request? There's actually a gain of one. There's a gain of a parking spot. Um, and the location is similar, as I recall, compared to the, the previous plan. Right? Essentially, that one space that was saved seems to be part of the problem. So, so there's not much change on the interaction regarding the modification that would be requested with the public interaction. Um, there's a garden at all. Okay, sure. It, I can I consider that to not be substantial changes, and I think. Conditioning is reasonable because of that. That the fact that they have to go through select board and select board 
and we'll you know go into detail with Justin and Wayne about that interaction. It just doesn't seem necessary for us to kind of continue that conversation when they they'll have to just redo it upstairs again. I think yeah, for the I mean, I think if you if the board was inclined to condition the DPW review, you know, we would just word it in such a fashion that DPW, if they had something they uncovered, it would be uh exclusive of our approval. They'd still be subject to DPW, whatever they come up with. Okay, so there's um, I, I don't yeah, I don't I don't um think there'd be any problem with that. Any other information? Uh, I'll make a motion to close the hearing. Second. Um, all in favor to close the hearing um, by hand, we're all here present. That's 5 0 bill to close the hearing. Um, so, you know, just cover it from, from the beginning. Um, the This is a special permit. Modification request for a modification of the special permit. So our considerations are for the changes compared to the, the original designs that were approved previously. That's correct. There's um what I would recommend the board do um would be to run through the previous approval and things that were did not change. I would just adopt by reference and revote. So, for example, the special permit, special permit for a downtown overlay district. Um, I would just the board could adopt it by reference that it remains the same, unchanged as the previous approval. Um, the site plan would be as amended. The waivers would be as amended. Um, so can we run through it? Right, I and then have that in front of me if you can bring and pull it out. Okay. <laughs> Because um, what I'm seeing is that the request is to modify section 10.4 for a special permit mm -hmm. and then uh, the site plan. And then it will be the waiver list as well, as you said. That's right. But what we would want to do would be um, acknowledge that all, everything else remains the same. Um, we, we, so, for example, like I said, the special permit criteria is not going to change from what they did. In, um, in, in in general, we were talking about site plan mostly with this. The design review, my only question about the design review um, is that we approved it previously, and I would imagine one page could be amended to reflect the new, any new structural changes that would be there just so the board and uh, has a visual of what, what was changed by this amendment and where. So I think the entrances would be a little different. And uh, so I would think it would be a one page condition for that just provide it you know let's, let's yeah let's look at it all right but um and then we have the question about well do you want me to pull up the the previous decision we'll go through it it would be helpful okay yes go ahead. this is getting a little awkward this conversation this is something we should just prep and do at our next meeting we could do that it's true we don't need to have a vote um, tonight, there's no regulation that requires us to vote at the moment. And, you know, they're going to the cons kind of month, right? But, well, they're good. The timeline matters that much. It's hard to imagine that we're going to be able to catch everything we need to catch. And there's a lot here. I agree with that. Um, and I want to get it right. As well. Well, for example, just to give the board, a, I, I drew up a little of how our votes would, uh, what we would be looking at. Um, and uh, most, a lot of this would remain the same, like I said. So, for example, special permit criteria, this would be the first vote for the for multifamily, and we, we would, with the reduced area. Uh, downtown overlay district would remain unchanged. Uh, the consistency with that. The design right review criteria should remain unchanged, and we'll just make sure that we have as a condition the, the um, architectural um, elevations updated, that everything would stay the same that was approved here. Um, materials, whatnot. Um, 
and then we would have um and that that would be all we had other than the waivers and the site plan so the the waivers we have um are presented tonight there was a change to the waiver that bill had about um adding multiple locations for condition eight so that the reduced driveway width was uh, went to, covered multiple locations that would be just, just an addition to that um the conditions of approval i would want to run through but looking through them um i didn't find that much that was that we would change because of this so it, you know i it's up to the board i but i um think we could go through these and, and there's a few we might even remove um but i would think we could, the board if they're comfortable to go through it i don't know what we would do in the next two weeks um other than just tidy up what's there again but um it's the board's call You just you give me a second to look through the Okay, so what I'm considering is that there's you have a number of items that we need to get right so that yeah, it is a thorough and complete decision. And I want to make sure, like I would for any applicant make sure that we are getting the things right that we need to get right. This is sort of what are we going to add to the condition? Right. Well, so yeah, the drafting of the dish decision, you know, we, we could we could do it. The decision might, you know, we have time to draft the decision, which we would we would do. So can we let me ask these questions. Yeah. It, through the staff report, this is saying that we need to that the site plan needs to be approved through section 10.5.1, right? Yes. And then there's a special permit for the DOD under section 10.4. And then there's a DOD special permit under section 9.4.6. Right. And both of those would need to be reissued. No, I would just, I, I would say that we've done this with other um, boards. As a matter of fact, we just did it with the, the zoning board uh, two meetings ago. We had, if in this case, we would just adopt the conditions by reference. So, you know, the, the benefits to the downtown overlay district and so on that we went through yeah. on the last one, yeah. we just carry them over. We, but, but we could review them, I mean, if you want, but I don't, I don't think those were affected by this. The same would be for the the, the um, standard uh, special but permit. I, I thought because it's an amendment that they could just you could just add what you needed. Like it would basically just be something that those five things that we talked about are, that need to get added, but just go right on top of it. We wouldn't need to necessarily like we're not writing a new decision. And we're not issuing new special permits. Yeah. Right. Because you already issued the secretaries, you're modifying. Mean, right. So you're adopting that the conditions remain the same so with your previous. This discussion goes to my point of maybe we want to do this at the next meeting. Why not? I don't, not, not for that. this conversation figured out and just written out and ready. Because we shouldn't be debating or conjecturing at this point. Well, I don't think on a special, on a special point, though, I, on the special permit point. I, I think that's pretty. It's pretty straightforward. We either, if you, if the board wanted to change it, they could change it. But to go forward with anything else, I would recommend that you find it remains consistent and adopt it by reference to the earlier conditions. But I, it's just really just two sets of circumstances on that. So I was not prepared um, to go through the special permits. This I was focusing almost strictly on the site plan review for all of this. And so I, I was prepared. Which are the amendments. That's which correct. Which is the yep, amendments. So exactly. Right. This is more for, for your reference when, we, when we're talking about, okay, we're amending this section that you guys know exactly what we're, you know, that it was a 16-page decision, a very long decision. 
um, that, that you know where we're referencing. So when, when we're just, when it just says like 9.4.6.3.E amended to blank. Um, it just, yeah, the, the others are just remains consistent. You wouldn't want to adopt a site plan that was out of compliance. And that's right. what I was there's expecting. No, there's no change. Okay. So okay. Saying I, I no guess change. I was confused because I, I was under the impression that we needed to go back the, yeah. and, re, and and look at yeah. the special permit criteria again. Um, and I that's what I thought I heard, but that's not what I was. I would for. recommend. I would recommend you. Agree, we look at it. I mean, and, and it's it's the the seven, you know, circumstances. Just so you, and then, but I think it would just. I don't think anything would change. But you know, I, I can't imagine anything would. But I noticed we we did this a couple of weeks ago with the zoning board. We were very similar situation and the simplest way was just to go you know adopt it by reference the the um special permit criteria is still met and we've we've looked at that um nothing that they're doing undermines the board's previous decision okay so as i understand this then okay. we we can the request is to Consider the approval of the site plan modifications. That's right. And then you're 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 saying that it would be helpful to in, to review the special permit criteria and just restate that the special permit criteria is yeah. I I I, I would. It. Yeah, I would. It would be really for the to solidify the decision and just okay. say the board looked at it. Everything remains uh, consistent. Okay, that's better because. That's what I was envisioning for tonight was that we were simply looking to approve the site plan modifications and approve the design review. Well, there's no design review, but it, it, it state that it, it is remains consistent. It remains consistent. Right. Right. Okay. And so all you're saying is that we need to we're, we need to look at the special permit criteria and say that it remains consistent with the special permit criteria for 10.4 and 9.4. So which is right here. Yeah, everything's right on there. Okay. And, and then. When it comes to conditions, all of the conditions that were set forth, you know, which ones do we do we want to specifically change, or do we have very different conditions that we want to put down, or are we good with with what ones? So and I'd be more focused is, on the conditions than I would be. And this is a full waiver list. This isn't an addition. This is the new full waiver list. Yeah. Right. No, yeah. yeah. Because when we're removed, this we were added. Um, I'm fine going. That's that seems way simpler than mm -hmm. what, what I heard initially. Maybe I missed it. I so, stated it uh, poorly. It doesn't matter what I heard. So, um, but I think that's way simpler. I'm I'm fine going through it. Sure, if you have, you know, substantial concerns about that, but I think it's actually pretty, I think it's way simpler than what you put there. Which is about uh, uh, the site plan review. I think it's not simple, but maybe it's simpler. Okay. Okay. And then after you guys are voting to amend, then our conversation and then vote to your permission. I think we can do this. I would first, and can I do this? Can I make it all one motion or should it be several motions? My suggestion would be that we uh, start, we run through, we do the conditions of approval to scoot through them. I don't know. And uh, that would be. Um, okay, let's start with the conditions and see if they're. I mean, they were pretty thought out when we did them last time. So it's a, um, and we have them in front of us. Yeah, I know. Um, the so conditions start. Uh, on the Do you guys want copies so you guys can come along with you? No, you're good. What page? Six. Six. Okay. Um. Mike, do you want to copy the ball? No, I can see it. Okay. It's just a tiny screen. I can't see that far away, so I assume that everyone else can see that. So. Oh, my. There's 24 conditions. Yeah. Okay. Are we talking conditions, or did you want to go through the... the... All right. Let's go to conditions, then. Great. Yeah. All right. Uh, the new conditions have drafted out what we would have. Uh, if the board wants to hear them or we go through these first, whatever is your pleasure. How many new conditions? Should we I, well, just what I, I drafted three. 
Uh, we have to come up with the condition about the um, DPW, which is one I, I, I'll we'll submit that. But the, the so that would just be amending uh, condition three. I'm not sure about that. Um, the, this was from the previous plan. These were um, so it. Yeah, let, 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 let me so run I, through. I'm, I'm doing a 180. Um, I didn't realize there's 24. I forgot. I forgot there's 24 conditions on this. Yeah. And a lot of them are boilerplate. I'm, what I want to do now mm -hmm. is to discuss the conditions that three that you have built and we can discuss those. Um, and then I, I do want to table this decision to the next hearing. Um, so I want to go through these 24 conditions. That's it. So I want to know what 24 conditions are and ensure that we have what's needed. Um, and I think that's going to take a little while. And then I want to be prepared um, to have um, on, on our next meeting um, a review of the conditions. And then um, we can make motions and see what we end up doing. That's what I would. So tonight I want to look at the conditions and then look at the waivers. And then next time we'll have site plan approval for consideration. The conditions lined up exactly how we want them. And then um, it's the waivers. Yeah, my question would be yeah. If, if some of these conditions, these 24 conditions, are no longer relevant, mm -hmm. for example, you know, number four references a specific memorandum, mm -hmm. hopefully there will be a new one. It's not going well. The thing is, they asked about amending the development agreement, right? Right. At this point, it hasn't happened. So there's no, this, this should be unaffected. I would think that prior to, uh, um, at, you know that that condition stands there. Um, if they're already done, then they're done. Yeah. But if we're not, you know, we just if all conditions remain in effect except this one or this one, um, I don't. You know, I don't know if all these were done with DPW. I don't see any reason to remove them. Okay. Um, and it, the the where it alludes to development agree, agreement. That's still stands. It's got to be an executed. Um, but we reference G. Reference what? Well, like number two, you'd probably strike because that's been done. Because the building permits have already been issued. So when it, when it comes to like the actual words that they in the exhibits, you know, all of those those usually get done behind the scenes yeah. anyway. After you guys have decided um, those conditions, so I just I think in the essence of time. You know, we could already be halfway through through these conditions. Just go through and amend, not amend, amend, not amend, and then allow us to work. Is council going to need to review these conditions as amended? No. It depends what we come up with, but I not from what I've seen. I wouldn't. I mean, if we, if the board feels better, I certainly would run them by it. I, you know, do that frequently. Um, these conditions were originally run. And these are yeah, these are all from council originally. Right. That's why. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're going to be changing anything on the existing conditions, except like something like number two, where it's already done. Okay. Let's go through. Let's go Should we go through the conditions? Let's go through it. Okay. All right. So, um, this is number one. What is the actually said on the plan? Yeah, the aforesaid would be what's alluded to in the beginning of the decision. So whatever the new plan's date is, we're going to say, you know, the original plan was approved in 2021, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's a revised plan dated, whatever the revision plan is, and that will be at the beginning of the decision. So it'll say, you know, that it'll reference the plan that's being alluded to. Condition one basically just says that you know that the building commissioner is going to determine if it's done um, consistent with the plans and the um, 
Number two is no longer necessary. I hate, I'm trying to think. I, or did we just leave it in there because yeah. oh, we want a new one? No, we're, we're about the, we don't have it. We don't have one now, but they want a new one. So we, I mean, that's, that's a separate action. So I, I wouldn't. Well, they Sorry, last. They have a development agreement, so that's done. I apologize. I was being access. Okay, so okay. development agreement. I vote we just leave it because it did. It, yeah, it had to be done. Order. So it, yeah, it, 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 no, no. but we'll need some yeah. reference. We can do that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Sure. All right, number three. I think just. Oh wait, a minute. I'm sorry, Bill. Wait, wait, what did you say on number two? We need a reference. I believe two as it is. I think. Yeah, aren't we going to add something at the end about an access agreement? This is going before the select board for the. It's the development agreement you talked about. That's going to be. Reiterate. Yeah. yeah. So I think reiterating saying the, the okay. condition and access agreement is fine. Yeah. And then we'll um we'll edit like exhibit G and all of those things. Um, number three is still remains. I think in number three, we'll take out um, all the comments referred to VHB letters, exhibits, all of those things are no longer applicable. Yeah. I think if you've been in the exhibits at that point, they're not the mm -hmm. letters. Correct. Okay. Exhibits. And that one, I'm going to need your help with too. On that. We'll go through what has there's been addressed. Yeah. There's that other language below on three, the very bottom paragraph of three. Yeah, I don't think that's it's no longer relevant. Got it. I'm sorry, aren't the exhibits the letters? The exhibit the exhibits were included as uh, exhibits to this decision. So they're 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 gonna be tagged on to the end of this decision to be recorded. It was, it was 70 pages, so I, that is yeah. not transparent. Yes. But yes, those are the letters reviewing. But do we have to we add to this for the, for the new final story. review of the change. Is that the deal? We got to add something here. We're going to edit them, so we're going to attach an amended version. So in that, I can either I can do it multiple ways. We can either strike out what we don't want and add what we do, or we just kind of start with a new document and say amended and attach it. And so when they file it with the registry of deeds, they'll file referring to the last decision. So they'll always be linked, no matter what. So the list of exhibits will probably also contain the new storm water plans we were like. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. The, the the stuff that they'll all have to the a new amended version is gonna have as an attachment the old plans and right. the old decision. So it's gonna be like a thousand pages. Right. Um, so yeah, we'll figure that one out. <laughs> I think if we can uh, reference registry of deeds, like what's already registered, so that way you don't have to re-register, but mm. different, different issue. Yeah. Um, I think four is uh, is redundant. We'll just leave it to less we change the okay. measure this will be. Mm. Then on that, um, leave five, leave six. Yeah, leave five, leave six. Yeah. Uh, leave seven. There's right seven. Yeah, seven's great. So we don't even have to modify it, right? No. No. The EV. Um, so eight would be the same as inspectors. And so, so, so nine, how do we feel about maintaining? Uh, and, and in close to hearing, um, can I ask clarifying questions to the applicant at this point? Mm -hmm. Just no new information. Just no new information. So say that again. Oh, you can ask clarifying questions, but I, so what I wanted to ask them, right? If they wanted to, how what they felt about some of these conditions? Oh, that would be new information, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sure. I mean, I think that's that's appropriate. I don't know why we're asking about the status of one. Yeah. But that that that's not about the site plans. Is it just about that? So I I don't know what the rules are when it comes to 
New information would be if we had accepted public input or letters or, uh, or, or new revisions of plans after the hearing had closed. I don't think clarifying a, um, a, a condition or, or asking them how it affects them or, or that they think it should be changed as new information. I think that would just be the board's part of the board's deliberations and clarifying information. How's the seven thousand dollars number going? Is it fine? Is it too much? Too little? Well, we right now. Um, yeah. Stop. You're asking us what yeah. seven thousand dollars. Are you supposed to maintain a balance of seven thousand dollars? That's my job. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. not love that? But I mean, why would we love that? So <laughs> you could not do that if you're going to ask. Cards we don't want. We always pay the bill. I mean, okay. But to maintain that just seems it, what's what's going to happen now, which is very different from the last, is that we didn't do another period, right? Mm -hmm. So on this right. side. Right. So there wouldn't be reason to have a peer review account to refer to. Right. Now, if something were to come up and they we do are like, hey, you know, we really need a peer reviewer. Um or site inspection. Or yeah, but like site inspections are right, right. Site inspections are right. It's so, a funny number too. It's just a funny number. Yeah. It, it is. Usually we go with five. Um can we just so make it to as well. I think decrease it to five. It five. It's just a typical number. It's a very odd. Thank you. Do you want to change that to five? Yes. Yeah. It's just that's the typical number. I wanted to give it a different number. So the site inspection peer review will have to be reassigned for any peer reviews. Yeah. No, that might be well. Yeah, you're right. That's right. Yeah, it would be our new career. So we'll, we'll Unless it's a DPW. Yeah. yeah, DPW has their specific things that they would use uh, the town engineer for. Uh, Ten is. Um, Ten fine. Yeah. Uh, and DPW. That's what, that's. This is about quarterly reports from the to. The town engineer, yeah. I mean, we're on the site like weekly, so <laughs> I'm not I'm not too concerned. You get all of our information every time I call them and ask for it. These are just inspections that they that um. So this is where we talk about construction. <clears throat> yeah, site inspection. So, um, do you feel like anything needs to change? Plate clearing, sedimentation controls, drainage, grading. So, like some of these things are just outside of the jurisdiction, to be honest, um, and they're in my jurisdiction. So, I'm a little uncomfortable with how this is written, but um, you know, when it comes to drainage that is connected into the stormwater system, that's fine. You know, town engineers can. can be inspecting, inspecting that, but um, you know, infiltration system construction that's that wouldn't be under his jurisdiction. These, these are clearly written by lawyers. Yeah. Well, um, I, yeah, the order conditions stormwater from Conservation Commission, which we know. Uh, 13 will stay the same. Um, are we putting in bike racks? I thought it wasn't. There's one on this landscape. Yeah, there's there's one okay. on the top there. Great. Oh, yeah. And there's Which is separate. Yep. I was thinking those are separate. Um, yep, and then there's the DA for the promenade. Planning. So, do we have to modify this to also include the that little landscaping in the town parking lot, or is that going to be uh, addressed as an add on? Condition. I think that we just update the landscape plan date. Yeah, so the select board is going to have to make that decision because yeah. they have to approve it. So we need to speak on the condition date. Maintenance of that landscape. And that's what select board will, it's under their jurisdiction, it's their property. And I'm talking about do we want a condition? I mean, the applicant said in the hearing that they would maintain it. We changed that mind. So, <laughs> my question is, 
would we probably put it as a condition, or do we just say that the development agreement with the town has to include both the promenade in that area? Can I do understand? And my professional opinion is no. Well, since we said responsibility for the promenade, can we just add and other town owned land or something? I would. Mm, the town doesn't own the promenade. That's no, no, no. Yeah. I meant them separately the promenade oh, yeah. and the strip of property. I, I do the landscaping in it. I wouldn't want to do the sidewalk. No, but I mean, can we just add it to number 14? Can we say for the promenade and the you know, whatever this is, the strip of landscaping between the town owned parking lot and the uh, uh, railings at the north say, end of the, you know, you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe it's yeah, we can just say the landscaping in the town parking lot parking lot. Adjacent to the. Oh, yeah. 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 Good yeah. point. Yeah. To what, Bill? And how did you word that? The promenade, another. Town owned lands that were discussed and shown on the landscape. Not other town owned lands, but town owned lands. Well, and actually, yeah, the town owned land, yeah, the landscape being on town owned land as shown in the landscape plan. That would be yeah. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. 15 is, uh, again, not in the jurisdiction of the planning board. Well, the condition is, but yeah. But those items are, yeah. I agree, the items are not. There were, I mean, it was all for reasons, so. Just to leave it, it's fine. Um, doesn't change it. Um, there has been no modifications to the deliveries, so 16 doesn't change. Seventeen is applicable. On the ADA clients, of course. Why that's a condition? It is um, federal law. Yeah, I, I think it's just redundant. Yeah, just redundant of federal law. I don't remember what nineteen was all about. Yeah. One is covered by other numbers, but it can just say it's men. Are you okay with the um, construction times? Think now. Well, seven a.m. on the third side. Seven, no reason. Seven, six, seven, yeah, I don't. Seven. That's fine. That's yeah. I mean, those look really standard. I don't want to change them. Just making yeah. sure that if it, if it, if Jimmy looks at it and it's like an appropriate question, be like, do I? Yeah, no, I get it. But I'll, okay. I'll, I still ask, the other question I asked about that that other number was relevant to where we're at in the process. Um, I don't, I don't want to modify those. Sir. I'm fine with the rest of it. The rest of these are all in the, the, the these, these are in the, the bylaws. Um, Bill, what were the, so what are the three items you had for conditions? Um, the, well, we, we discussed one. What, what's that? Timeline on 23 to 24 doesn't reset. Is it? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Timeline on 23 and 24 does not reset. Is that correct? They've already done. I mean, they've already started. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could, if we want to strike them, those are the ones you can strike, really. If I mean, they would restart because, like, if they don't, 24, I guess, which is the one. Yeah. Yeah. Five just 24. Does that restart with the amendment or is it a two year I, you know, that's a good question. That I, I would, my, we could, wordsmith that um or just you could just leave it after we and, and add a I, I just whatever we have to do to 
I don't want these guys having to come in no. six months to, because that was not the way it was. It well, was yeah. to do the, I mean, if if we struck 23, okay, they've already started substantial construction. They've, already, they've got the special permit. Yeah, so just leave it. Right. I don't want to. I don't want yeah. to. You, you, you stop and then you don't start again when you get out of your building permit and there's two years that allows us to. I just leave it. Yeah. Because they're already, they're already done. It. Oh, but I think you guys will also be <laughs> done in two years. Um, so my conditions that I had uh, were the DPW condition. We'll, we'll have to wordsmith that about. You know how we're gonna. Which 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 area are you talking about? Well, that's that that's because DP yeah DPW has not finished their review for the uh, primarily for the entry into the municipal lot. Right. But that's the, hold on, hold on. DPW has not completed their review of the modifications as presented. Right. It's the modification. Correct. Right. Correct. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So the condition is. Fine to have conditioning that DBW will, will review and approve modifications as presented. And whatever you call it. What is under, I think, number three? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Under what did you say, number three? Julia? Yeah. So you think we just really just tweak number three then? Yeah. Do you? Rather than a new condition? Well, how about you guys? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll come up with something for that. Yeah. Okay. What's the next condition? My next suggested condition yeah. would be um, uh, architectural elevation shall be updated to reflect the change. They just they can add just a supplemental page so that any of the, we want to basically ensure that the, the building is the same as what was approved design wise. Right. We got those at the last meeting. We did, but we didn't get with a new. Um, didn't we do some changes since then? No. They're all the same on it. I think there's a, I think they lowered the building, but I thought we changed some of the outdoor fe exterior features. Nothing. No, just the ramp area, but that's not the building. Okay, then we can that one if you're comfortable with that. I'm fine with the the that architectural plans that were presented at the last. Meeting. Okay, so so we'll just say well, well in that case, so let's we'll see the reference those plans. Yeah. Well, that right. I'm gonna I'll, I'll adopt them by reference. Okay. Um, uh, the landscaping we've addressed, that was my question about in the public lot. That was my, you know, about that chunk out there. And then that all conditions would remain the same. Um, is the landscape plan included in the whole site plan approval? Or does that need to be included? I would I will reference that in the decision. So in the previous, for example, um in the beginning of the decision, we talk about um like this. So it would be like, you know. Okay, got it. Thank you. Yeah, so I, I'd hit all those. I'd we'll, go, we'll get rid of what's you know what we're not doing now. We'll allude to the uh, storm um, report you did. Um, yeah. Yeah. So number thirteen, we just need to change the solidity plan that we're referencing to the date, the modified date. Right. Um, and then under section nine point four twenty six point three, we think we will again uh, reference the new plan. I'm not sure you want to change the reference to thirty. Our modification don't think has a full reference to spec and materials. So maybe we can say both the submitted landscape and, and uh, reference materials. I think right. we can leave 13 alone and just in the plan of the documents submitted as the board. We have a reference to the new news here. The old one didn't have like pictures. The old one had the specifications. Yeah, yeah. it had. Uh, yeah. Let's not lose that. Oh, no, 
Uh, any comments from the board on the waivers? Are we putting in the whole thing about, I know that Mike, you said you're going to add dimensions behind the band of absolute spot and the signage, you know, changes. That's just going to have a great right? For the site plan. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be updated as presented. Yeah, I can include the most recent landscape plan in that set because the landscape plan was a spark of the site plan. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so when you do the final, when you then sign the final plans, that one of the pages. One package, no redundancy. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll die. So we'll have the my marks for the scratch. Yeah. Yeah, we'll need a mylar and then we'll need the printed set, the final printed set and the electronic set, some of that, you know, like we, which we all know about. And, and the, the best way to do this is to do this all at once, right? Permanent criteria consideration, simply approval, waivers, right? There anything I would, I would he's got to do a card. I wanted to walk away with something, but is there anything we can give them a card or something? Walk away on well, can we finish? We were talking about the waivers, but I, I had a couple of questions about the waivers too. Okay. Well, so, right. but it would, be, it would be inappropriate to say to approve the site plan tonight and then work on the rest of it later for the next meeting, right? Well, I mean, Chris, in most of the stuff, what we do, like when we make a decision, and when the board votes on stuff, we get the, the conditions of approval. And when I craft the decision, the board doesn't craft the decision, you know, uh, we, I draft it, send it around for, you know, changes that are, if there's changes that reflect, you know, the intent of the board, but um, it's not like we do, you know, we don't really craft the whole um decision you know in a sitting with the, the board we'll have a draft and if the board's comfortable with they sign if not they they change it so um i i guess that would be I, it, my recommendation would be since we have everything here we're ready to go i would run through the special permit criteria i have like i said i have a cu couple of questions but still about the um easy questions about the um Waivers and then see if the board what the board feels like. Okay, let's do it. That would be my suggestion. Uh, the waivers, um, Mike, the, the um, the new waivers. I have not compared these to what's was the board had um voted on earlier, but I think on um, I think we should. I would think it would be a good idea to run through the waivers quickly that we granted so that anything is outstanding or that was missed and that saw, solves you from coming back for another trip or anything like that. Um, for example, this is all the same. You've got a waiver one that's remaining the yeah. same. Where you're, that's your density bonus. Um, still providing you seven units. Uh, the relief, the parking changed now, right? I mean, what was your new parking number? I can't remember. It's 30 on site. So, there, yeah, so that remains the same. Okay. Well, the text of the previous votes on the waivers is more robust than the letter that we produced tonight. Well, this was on a decision. I wrote this. Right, but there was a vote on that. It was a vote on each waiver. Yeah. Yeah, we did. No, I know we did. We did on that one. It was um unusual, but so the list of waivers that you guys approved was worded the same way that Mike. But mm -hmm. during the remand, you went through every single waiver, and Bill had to write the decision 
in each waiver. So that's why it looks more robust than the initial waiver letter. Yeah, I have the waiver letter here. We'll take a peek at it. Are, are we going to be voting on the this new waiver letter? Yes. Yes, that, that we have to do. But voting on the new waiver letter would be broader than the type of votes we did on the other one. I would rather vote waivers worded similar to the ones that we did before. I'm not sure I understand. Three, but very specific. And it's not yeah. any more change, but right. We just say that waiver three is modified for this in this manner or something. I don't know. You can't just say waiver three stays. It doesn't make any yeah, I would. I, what I like to do is make it clean and um, vote on the new a new waiver list. Right. So can we do it that way? Sure. Well, we haven't. I, I was just wondering through these for familiar to familiarize everybody with what we've done before. And like, for example, um, number one, it gives the density bonus, you know, in the new waiver letter. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it, maybe we just jettison all of the waivers, the previous waivers and say this, this replaces it. That's why I was just suggesting going through it. Um, I actually trust you guys going through it. And, and then I, I don't know how to. So, like waiver number three can be changed from saying providing relief allowing parking phase of numbers one and 15 through 19 just to say number one because it's only one parking phase now. Uh, uh, so, I, I, I agree with that. It's, it's just, I, I to do this in real time, it's not really a spectator sport. I would, I would rather this be done offline and then get the waivers correct. And then we're able to review and vote. It just seems like a lot of work to do right now. All right. I mean, generally, I'm seeing yeah, I, I just I, I want this, I prefer this done by tap and um, provide us a new waiver list, and then we vote on the new waiver list. And just get rid of all the old waivers. I don't want to try to modify that here in this meeting. Okay. But not what Mike has provided. Um, yeah, it can be with what, what Mike provided. Um, then why can't we just vote on what Mike provided? Well, because I don't know how it checks with the previous waivers that were here. Okay. And why we had these previous waivers. It was too long ago when you had a memory on it. And I, I I don't want to miss something and I don't want there, there to be conflicts. I just want it to be clean. So the cleanest way to get a decision on this is just to have one a very clear set of waivers. Then then, then the, I, I think that the best way to do that then would be, Mike, if, if you go through your list of waivers here and compare them to these, submit us a new letter with anything that you think needs to be changed so that everything there is reflected in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. No, but what I did was I took the letter that was originally submitted and edited it to a format that matched the request, not that you voted. So it's written as a request. Yeah. See, and that's a difference. Yeah. So you, sure. you could just change the wording as, as you vote. And, and as I mentioned for clarification, um, for instance, that waiver that allowed five spaces to be within 10 feet now only allowed one. So, um, and the waiver that was for angled parking has been struck. So the first six, yeah, so this is what yeah, I was So this was the original, so, yeah, this was the original waiver list. I didn't copy verbatim what right. Mr. Lala had. I changed it to my format, um, but it, um, it reflects the, the unit density, the number of parking spaces, um, including the ratio, uh, the because um, it's still 26 units, one space instead of five. I note that there's a waiver request for one to five and one to 10. Um, those plans scales are used in addition to the one to 20. Uh, the number five didn't change. 
Number six did not change. Number seven went away. And then the two additions were the slope of the parking area. And the drive aisle. Drive aisle being less than 20 feet. They didn't specify yeah. where I specified or highlighted it during the meeting that it was at the garage, but as Planet John correctly pointed out, that behind the ADA space there is an area. So some of these didn't specify for it. for instance, number six didn't say where the radii were less than 25 or 10. So that's why I wrote that number eight the way it was written. I'm fine. I'm fine with the last two waivers as they are written. Especially if you will add the, uh, you know, behind the van accessible. Yeah, I have that. Right. Yeah, exactly. So if that's going to be on the plan, then that's fine with me. Do do which one have uh, Just saying, the last, the new waivers seven and eight. Right. As they are written, look good to me. If Mike is going to update the relevant less than twenty foot driveway with. Measurement on the plan. And we add the um, multiple locations. Was what we said, Bill? Yeah, yeah you sure. Yeah, something. Yeah. Something saying like, you know, adjacent yeah, to yeah, at, yeah. at the at the dry, uh, the van accessible spots and on the north side of the property. Right after the main driveway entrance, whatever, something like that. You're good at that wordsmithing. I might make it, ask you to look at it. So, uh, yeah, so that makes it a lot easier I, with with this here. I mean, I would think that this these waivers just eclipse what's on the. I still don't know what I'm voting on. So what we take it, we're looking to take a vote yet. Because we have Mike's, or sorry, the updated waiver list, mm -hmm. which has eight, not seven. We have the, the waivers that, the seven waivers that are in the staff report in previous. Mm -hmm. we, I, I just need to know what I'm voting on if we're going to to do this. And that's why I think it's helpful to have one clean document that has the exact waivers that are that are needed so that it's an easy but I think that's just this. But it's I would have to go through either of these word by word to ensure that this is the way that this was previously written or close to. It is. I mean So, yes, so, so we could, we, what you're saying is we could just, we could take this waiver letter and vote on the waiver letter. That's a new clean. We've added waivers that were required after that we found out that we needed after a, a hearings going. I mean, we've had that with, with you know. And we also get some fun motions out of you guys. So sometimes we do have to have to take some words and nothing. Um, and you'll see that you know when we make decisions. Um, I still would prefer a actual review by staff for this because I'm looking at number two and the numbers don't agree between the new and the old. Fine thing, but it's like we got time. Let's just do it right. So for number two, the staff report references 9.4.10. And on the new waiver letter, it references 9.4.9. It appears you changed your zone. Yeah, we read we, we number. Uh, oh God, when we, yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that part. <laughs> we renumbered when we added the uh, DOD. Um, but Mike ensured that to make sure the new waiver letters. I also added. changed number four because there is no 888 anymore. It's,
There's a reference here to four flex retail flex spaces that's no longer part of the project. More. No, it is. It's prior. That's why the required number by zoning is 43 and 30. But the previous waiver was referred to for retail flex spaces, and now the new waiver does not refer to for retail flex spaces, and that was not just in the hearing. So it means for. Well, they weren't saying anything. My point number two is just the so relief is from 43 to 39. Just name. I mean, like, when are we going to do it? Yeah, I'm doing it. Make sure that I support it. Right. You have thoughts on changing the 39 spaces to 43 spaces? Uh, did I say 39 required? Yeah. 30, okay. So I took it straight from that. But he's also down. You're also down. So we run out no longer at 32 spaces. The final design had to go to 30. So I use 39 and 30. I was yeah. unaware of the 43. No, that makes sense. So if you change it to 43, that's fine. Okay. I didn't see the condition that approval zone uh, working on this. So it was in space two years ago. It was like, like I understand. Okay. Yeah. So when the previous waiver seven is no longer applicable. Right? Then what's happening here? There's no more angle. There's no more angle. Okay, I'm I'm satisfied with the new layout. They just make those little tweaks and send it to me. I'm satisfied with the new layout based on the changes. Okay, and Mike will send us a. We can go through them, and Mike send me an update. Um, Letter just to keep it tidy. When you talk about condition, condition. How do we act on speed? The same thing with you. Are we just replacing what's there? They're saying in addition, or we find it consistent with the plan. Yeah, we're going to reference the, we'd reference the, um, the new plan. And um, so we're going to have, we're going to basically have the same vote with a different answer. We have that's right. That's right. That's right. And I just, what I was trying to do was adopt everything else by reference. It was not affected just to make it easy for the board. Right. And, and um, it been used to me. The design guidelines in terms of the kind of we have to say it's pretty much the same because we looked at the change and it's consistent with the prior review by the earlier. That's correct, remains consistent. So if, if we motion and approve this tonight, I will have an opportunity to look at the conditions that were discussed just to ensure that it's what we discussed. You all the decision I'll, I always circulate it around for you guys. Yeah. I'm asked about that because it is 20, 24. I'm to make sure yeah. to get them right And what will happen and when it's done. I'll just circuit as I normally do. You guys can all take a peek at it. 
um, decide what if you, you know, usually if some, some change comes back. In this case, it's uh, um, if you know we're, we're doing some wordsmithing. If you're unhappy with it, we change it. If I if I if I decided that I would like leave the council to take a quick look at something, is that also allowed? Of course. Just to make sure that it's compliant or whatever else. Of course. I think you know. Keep in mind that you've amended Peter Crowley times. Yes. So you know, and that's that's a two hundred page document with with oh, well over three. Right. So, it, it, it that. You can talk why I, I, um, I don't have the same hesitancy for that. This no, has but, overlays of waivers and mm -hmm. conditions and DOD criteria on, on top of the lawyers that wrote stuff. So, I'll be happy to send it for review. Okay. That's, and that's why I keep saying I'm on the Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think the, you know, the thing is that if we go over the, 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 the conditions, we understand the conditions, there's a, under, there's a, understand that they're going to be wordsmith that they're going to be you know it's not always going to be as tidy as you'd like it on the first idea but you certainly the essence of what's being approved is, is discussed at the hearing the only thing to keep in mind is once you vote uh, we have 10 days to issue that mm, the draft i think is that what it is for the draft We, like we have 10 days to get it. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure we're, we're with all time ones. We're, we're and so, like our, all of our other ones, we send it out. Some of you give us a feedback or something. Would you have it. time to work on that this week? This, all of this, this week? Yeah. Yeah. So I could review this Monday. Actually. Yeah. Probably you're gonna need to help me with this one then Friday. get like Friday. Okay, yeah, fine. Friday. Oh okay. Friday. Yeah. I think what we would do is we would send it to you and we would counsel at the same time uh, to get this feedback and still make the process soon. But I feel confident that we have what we need to do. Got some time. <laughs> Just a note, but um, I'm, I'm thank you for continuing to push through this. <laughs> um, I, I'm fine with making a motion, um, and then spending the time to ensure that it's the information power. I'll, I'll make a motion, uh, to approve the updated site plan, um, as discussed during this hearing. Done by the applicant, which would include the landscape plan as well. And this is all in accordance with section 10.5.1 of the planning board rules and regulations. I also find that the special permit criteria for section 10.4 of the downtown overlay district. Okay. Uh, I find that the um, in accordance with section 10.4 is on bylaws that the yeah. and that it meets the criteria. As listed, as I said, as listed in section 10.4, or remains consistent with the criteria. Remains consistent with the criteria in section 10.4. Previously adopted. Previously indeed. adopted in the original decision. Right. I, uh, I also find that the make a motion to find the um, the special permit criteria in section 9.4.6 um, that the. Yeah. Could you do that motion fully first? Vote on that and then do those the two? Yeah. So I motion is the site plan and section 10.4. Um why? To make it easier to write. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. So I made a motion for the site plan and section 10.4. Special permit. Thank you. 
Um, any further discussion on site plan and special permits? For, and special permits, just a general special permit for 10 All in favor by voice vote, Bill. Uh, yeah. Natalie? Yeah. Uh, I'm a yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. James, yes. Thank you. I'll make a motion to find that the special permit for the downtown overlay district in accordance with section four nine point four point six uh, remains consistent and as previously approved in the original decision. Uh, do I have a second? You do. All in favor of of that motion, um, Bill. Yes. Natalie. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion that the modifications I've presented are remain consistent with our section ten point six, which discusses the design review in the downtown overlay district. Uh, do I have a second? You do. All in favor of the bill? Yes. Natalie? Yeah. I'm a yes. Net? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we need to vote on the waivers. Mm -hmm. We need to vote still on the, the waivers and on, um, yeah, just the waivers. Conditions of approval? Okay. Well, the, the site plan. Um, I'll modify that first motion to include, yeah, to include conditions of approval. I don't know if I said it, but to modify the first vote on the site plan to include the conditions of approval. Do I have a second for that addition? You do. All in favor to include the conditions of approval and the site plan approval vote? Bill? Yes. Natalie? Yeah. I'm a yes. And then? Yes. Jim? So the conditions are included in the uh, site plan approval vote. And then waivers, do we still need a motion to approve the waivers? Yeah, we could, we could. Um... Don't ask me to table that for the next meeting. Oh. <laughs> no, please don't. Okay. Um, yeah, just as amended, um, can you we update and send me a revised? I uh, thought you were gonna amend it number two, so what was it, 43? And on, um, Multiple locations, and then uh, what is this Natalie note I made? Oh, uh, oh, you had a addition, Natalie, right? On so that? You could vote to amend for the, the waivers. That's the waivers less than twenty five. Was it? And then oh, I was just that was going to be represented on the changes on the plan. Yes, exactly. And so you're so you're happy with that? As discussed in the meeting. Okay, and and so. Then um, Mike is going to uh, make the changes to the plan as discussed and send them to me e copy. I'll, I'll, make, I'll make a motion to approve the waivers uh, as presented. Um, it has a date of July 2, 2023. Uh, there are eight waivers included. And uh, the waivers will be modified as discussed uh, just recently during this. Um, after the closure of this hearing. Do I have a second? You do. All in favor of that motion? Bill? Yeah. Natalie? Yeah. I'm a yes. And yes. 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 Those are the waivers. You're going to have to give me those conditions pretty quickly. Have faith in my job. Very, very I have faith on how busy you are. <laughs> well, the conditions, most of them, yeah, if you do the conditions, I can get on the front side of the other thing. You get it. Okay, my right has been here, so I'm going to write. Is, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Larry. Larry. Bill, anything else on this? Thank you, Larry. On this, not on this one. No. Um, we have the, the, the I mean, the, the conditions, uh, why don't you update us on the, um, Phone poles or the the utility poles. Oh yeah. Oh, the number of songs guy. Yeah. Uh, he jumped right in his car, nobody's fires, threw his ladder on his Subaru and went up. And, no, he did what all ever saw guy do. He doesn't return your call. 
the guy that we spoke because we because Greg had yes. spoke to. Yes. Yes. I I don't want to be wise, but this is six years into this. So yeah, I can understand that's that. an attorney called. I, I I Crystal is the same way. They don't but they okay. Don't call but that. just because I, I yeah, I want to make sure we get I want to make no one the next ever off. saw us telephone company, anything ever call you back. So when you were calling us when we're on vacation and did you that no, you know that they don't call you back. So someday I don't know when, hopefully, they want everything you could ever possibly ask for. They want a building built before they'll talk to you about moving a pole. You might get that out of them. I bet you Jackie's got 25 emails to these companies. Mm -hmm. And then you say, oh, you call that guy? Yeah, we call the guy. So guy. if I go up tomorrow, Jim, we call him from okay. Maine. We if, call him from Maine. He won't call you back. If I call, if I go up tomorrow to the Town administrator's office who, who spoke joke. to the guy. That's another joke. Town administrator's office. That's another joke. But I'm going to say something in this that I'll be. Hold on, let me let me. This is six years for us. Six years. Six years going on, clicking on six years. So I better shut up. Um, he, yeah, this, he, we, we called we're, him several we, times. The guy that the guy that Greg spoke to. Yes, right. Okay. Time. Okay. He called him several times, and that gentleman never called him back. And That's right. Really upset about it. So. Sure, I understand. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. Um. Yeah, I'll do whatever I can to help with um everything. I might not know what. I'm happy to help. So let's stay in touch about that. Thank you. I don't have the right ladder, otherwise I'd be right there. <laughs> and there's someone in the chain ring or something. Yeah, I'm not sure how about me. Um, okay, thanks. Thank guys. you, guys. So you have your whole group. Yes, thank you. Questions. Very much. Yes. It can take some time to go make sure that conditions are the way that they should be, as we discussed. Sure. sure. Um, there's just a lot of paperwork on this. Um, that's why we did it. Advice and we go through it, but we did. Um, so stay tuned, you're going to do that. Um, give if you could give them a little make give them time to work through this correctly. I appreciate, appreciate them doing it tonight, keeping it going very tonight much. because yes. it's very important to us. That's every step, yeah. yeah. So, thank, thank you, you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my uh, excellent job. Thank you. Your, yeah. It was the design on this was challenging, and I think it, 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 it yeah. really showed your skill. It was good. Thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, then leave that one. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Okay. Um, no meeting minutes. No meeting minutes. Um, we got them caught up. Um. Update? Yeah. Um, you saw the September. We had a joint meeting with um, Act and Planning Board in September. I had the date, I think it was 17th, whatever. We, I, I can't, I don't have a problem. Oh, actually, I do. It was. Nineteen. Nineteen. Right. Um, that'll probably be the Zoomer. Um, let's see here. Is there going to be some prep for that, or are we just going in full? Uh, there'll be some prep for it. Uh, well, matter of fact, we're we're meeting on it tomorrow or Thursday. Yeah. Uh, what we've got is a. Um, Somewhere I wrote all that stuff out. Um, yeah, it, it, it's um, the draft will be draft. Um, they're, they're coming up with uh, some changes that were pretty interesting. Uh, with um, oh, here, okay, so those, um, yeah, but yeah, the answer is yes, Billy. You'll have some material before it and um, some drafts. Um, the other thing I had is that um, this kind of a weird one we're going to have next uh, planning board meeting of um, a second one for October or for uh, 
for August. Um, we have, the, if you recall from Maynard Cross, we have a tractor supply, a, a garden type of store that's going to be going into one building that was um, called out in the original site plan. Here's the question that I'm going to, we're going to have to think about. I'm going to, because I'm going to bring them for a determination of minor, minor or major to you guys. Um, I'm going to send out a little something for you all to review. It's, it's, I'm not sure that we have to even do anything um, on this. And I'll make my case in a uh, email I'm going to send to each of you. Um, and it's based on the idea that there was an allowance made for parking lot display of merchandise. And it's not a permanent loss of the space. So I'll send it all to you. And, and um, it's a little wonky, but it's interesting. You'll, you'll find it interesting. I see what you think. Where, and where is it? this is a Maynard Crossing at the tractor location. This, and so this is what that is. So, so it's a garden store. Like. Yeah, but I don't want the tractor location. Yeah, come up. The, the next, oh. they will, they're proposing that their next building, which hasn't been started yet, mm -hmm. will include um, a, a tractor supply store, is what they right. told us. And that was, well, it's called Tractor Supply, it's named. It actually doesn't have tractors. Well, yeah, that's, <laughs> they, they, they communicated that to us. And so um, that will have potentially some modifications to site plan. Maybe I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. I don't think so. It's a weird one. I've never run into it. Yeah. Um, and I want to see what you guys think. You, it it may be a minor modification, it may be a major. I don't think it is, or maybe nothing. Which I'm so kinda... we're, we're treating it as a minor major determination. Yeah. Okay. And then we talk but about I'm it. gonna but the point is that I'm gonna send you some weird stuff first. Weird. Yeah. Because they're gonna want to park along yeah. over in a parking spot. Please. Yeah, in other words, in our bylaws, in, yes, in the right. zoning bylaws, it yeah. talks about right. it talks about there's going to be a garden supply store right. here. We're going to there's a parking ratio that breaks it down. Yeah. It says you can use whatever it is, however many spots for this. Um and it and it calls out pretty specifically. And I, I'm not 100 percent sure what to do to make it tidy. So it's just going to be unusual. I'll send you it. I'll, I'll, I'll spell it out. Good. I can't wait to read that. Mm -hmm. It's like when they put out pallets and flowers in the spring. Yeah. 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 So is that, you know, if when Home Depot, when you look and they put a, the, the tr trees or the plants out there in the parking lot, is that, are you losing parking? Or does that, right, so it depends on the seasonal right. or the full year. So, yeah, I guess it does too. But does it? I mean, are you amending the site plan when you do? You know, when you do that, if you put if you put merchandise out there, and we're getting into the determination yeah. right now. We're yeah, just, um, yeah. Well, it's 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 a. Uh, it sounds fascinating. I can't wait for your email. <laughs> what else? What else? Um, I think that, that I think that's. Um, I, oh, oh, the only other thing. What happens? The fire chief didn't come in. For that? No, no, sorry. But didn't the fire didn't the fire chief request um change on the site plan? Yes, but it might not be ready the next time. Oh. Um, the fire chief is asking about moving the dump. Right now, these little small dumpsters, the, the little you know trash receptacles, at they're going to want to put a fence, a um screened off dumpster. Uh, and um, so we'll, that'll be a minor major determination too, but I haven't gotten it yet, but I do expect that coming. Um, the kennel thing will be our next meeting. Um, and I think that's, I, I feel like I forgot something, but let me get to it. Um, oh, no, I, I started to tell you. Tomorrow I'm meeting, um, if, if you, if you want to poke in, it's on Zoom too. Um, two powder melts coming in for a um, just a meeting. I'll have to go with staff over a couple of things. So if if you'd like to come, I've got uh, they've hired Mark Bobrowski. Uh, is their guy who's uh huh. 
He wrote our. No, yeah. we, we keep everything real close around here. Well, well, we didn't do that. That was not our. That was I mean, our I mean, we as a town. Wow, yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. As, as, I don't know. As an ecosystem. Yeah. As an ecosystem. As an ecosystem. That, that's all I got, guys. Um, yeah. Good meeting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Chairman, I would move the call to the meeting. A second. Uh, all in favor by voice, Bill. Yeah, Natalie. Yes. Jen. Yep. And then it's yeah. and we have it's five children. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, sorry to drag that on. Yes, I go to the telephone, but the lady yells at me about fire. Okay. Thank you.